shall be our duty to use it justly. Hold it high, guard it well. Math Court, where common sense prevails. Math Court, with the Honorable Judge Sandra Day O'Crater presiding. You people are beginning to get on my nerves. Stop these interruptions or I'll have you hanged for something. Now then, you are accused of a math crime. How do you plead? Oh, like this, Your Worship. Please, don't let them send me to prison. I've been a good little boy. All I want is to see the sun rise again. What I meant was, are you guilty or innocent? Oh, he is guilty, your great one. I am not. I am innocent. Innocent? Did you hear that, Your Honor? These two bit crooks, they think they can come into a court of law and wind themselves into a good verdict. What's the charge, Mr. District Attorney? I'll tell you what the charge is. I mow the district attorney's lawn. Well, then this court finds you guilty of bad taste. Oh, he has two lawns. Well, that's true, Your Honor, and I pay him to mow both of them. Oh, so far, I fail to see much of a math crime. What you fail to see, Justice Giver, is that he is cheating me. He pays me to mow both lawns, but he pays me less to mow the second lawn. Is this the case, Mr. District Attorney? Of course. Bailiff, I have taken the liberty of producing a scale drawing of the two lawns. This is my house. This is my front lawn. This is my side lawn. Now, I pay this slovenly defendant $10 to mow the triangular lawn and $7.50 to mow the rectangular lawn. And that is the unfair part. How did you arrive at this pricing, Mr. D.A.? Well, Your Honor, it should be apparent, even to a judge, that the triangular lawn is larger than the rectangular lawn. Your Honor, that is a bald-faced lie. It is? Good. I have always wondered what a bald-faced lie is. <laughs> this is it, huh? <laughs> I'm going to allow that particular outburst because it was in response to something profound that I said. But don't press me. Your Honor, these two lawns are the same area. He should pay me $10 to mow the rectangle and $10 to mow the triangle. Your Honor can plainly see that the triangular lawn is larger than the rectangular lawn. Now, I estimate the rectangle to be, oh, about three-fourths the size of the triangle. Therefore, I pay him 75% as much, $7.50. I rest my case. You make your point. I rule in favor... Hold on, your roped person. Look at this. May it please the court... No, no, that won't please the court. Oh, you vandalized one of the exhibits. Uh, you're going to do an extra ten hard ones for that, buddy. Yes, what are you doing, young defendant? I cut this triangle in two to prove to you, dim bulbs, that the areas are the same. This better be good. You see? The area of this triangle is exactly the same as the area of this rectangle. Therefore, he should pay the same price to have each lawn mowed. You are absolutely right. The two areas are exactly the same. How do you explain your faux pas, Mr. District Attorney? Ah, gee, I'm not sure, but I guess I'd do it rather poorly. How did you arrive at this conclusion, defendant? Oh, uh, through eyeballing the situation and geometry. Oh, sure, geometry. Geometry, is that fair to use in a court of law? I don't know, but I'm going to let it stand pending appeal. Pay him the extra money, Mr. District Attorney. Oh, all right, but I'm not happy about it. Case dismissed. And once again, justice has prevailed in Moth Court. Don't you ever say that again! <laughs>